Kevin Warwick, born on February 9, 1954, lives in the United Kingdom. He is known best for his studies with computer systems and the human nervous system. The five areas of his main focus was cyborgs, artificial intelligence, robotics, deep brain simulations, and public awareness. Because Kevin Warwick is still alive today, we were able to ask him what inspires him to pursue research in the field of cyborgs, and this was his response. Kevin Warwick's first big accomplishment was Project Cyborg. In the first stage of this research, which began in May 1998, involved a small RFID transmitter being implanted beneath Warwick's skin and used to control doors, lights, heater, and other computer control devices based on his proximity. The main purpose of this experiment was said to test the limits of what the body could handle. This first involved an array of 100 electrolytes implanted into his arm. These were able to connect directly with his central nervous system and send an electrical signal outside his body. Using this method, Professor Warwick successfully manipulated a robot hand using nothing but nerve implants. One of the questions we were able to ask Kevin Warwick was, how do you believe cyborgs would benefit the world and influence further innovations in the future? His response was, I think cyborgs will have a much more intellectual view on the world as a whole and what might be beneficial in the long run, as we humans tend to think mainly of the present and self-gratification. Kevin Warwick's next big accomplishment was artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is taking electrical patterns from living things like humans and converting them into network patterns to program a mobile robot. Kevin Warwick's first project involving artificial intelligence was the robot head Morgi. The project contained five senses, vision, sound, infrared, ultrasound, and radar. Kevin Warwick believes that artificial intelligence will have a huge impact on the human species and argues that we will need to use technology to enhance ourselves in order to avoid being overtaken. Along with artificial intelligence, you have robotics. Kevin Warwick believes that robots will be able to program themselves and one day become a huge use to the human race. The 1999 edition of Guinness Book of Records recorded that Warwick carried out the first robot learning experiment across the internet. One robot with an artificial neutral network brain learned how to move around just using the internet. Kevin Warwick's next big accomplishment was deep brain research. Kevin's recent research involves a collaboration project with the Oxford neurosurgeon Tipu Azu, using intelligent computer methods to predict the onsets of Parkinson's tumors such that they can be stopped by means of a deep brain implant. Instead of stimulating the brain all at once, the aim for the device is to predict when stimulation is needed and to apply the signals prior to any tumors occurring to stop them before they can even start. Lastly, we have public awareness. Warwick contributes significantly to the public understanding of science by giving regular public speeches, taking part in radio programmers, and through popular writing. He has also appeared in numerous television documentary programs like TED Talks and has also written several different books about his research. Kevin Warwick's main aim is to get as many people excited about cyborgs and artificial intelligence as he possibly can. The last question we were able to ask Kevin Warwick is, what impact did your TED Talk being presented and available throughout the world have on you and your research? The response was, I enjoyed TED Talks. They are good fun. When you only have 18 minutes to give your presentations, then you have to focus on the storyline. Certainly, it has raised awareness of the cyborg possibilities. Overall, Kevin Warwick is a scientist chocked with new ideas and hopes that his research with cyborgs will become a reality all over the world.